today, I want to discuss about the amazing idea that's come up for taking cargo ships, container ships, and making them greener. Oh, and I don't know cool, why yeah. somebody really didn't think of this sooner. You know, I'm going to do a quick reveal and people are just going to be blown away by this. And uh, I mean, who would have thought you could put a sail on a boat? Now, this is new technology. People can't come and tell me that the Romans were doing this because the Romans didn't have cargo ships that could take 3,000 <laughs> containers and sail across the world. But anyways, yeah. so supposedly it makes the cargo ships 30% more efficient. You know, the people that designed the wing sails made the comment because he was asked by an interviewer he says isn't that slower you know if you're going to go just to sail there was one particular clipper ship that would go from i think it was hong kong to new york carrying tea and they did this i think it was like eight trips and they did it under it was 89 days maybe that was just all sail but what was interesting here is that the guy that that invented these particular sails was commenting says what what cargo ships are doing now because fuel is getting more expensive and things is they've all cut back to the minimum speed and typically these ships now instead of doing 15 or knots an hour are now doing somewhere in the 12 to 13 knot range he said what they did on this particular trip they took and they cut the speed back to what all the other cargo ships are doing to minimize their uh, fuel consumption, improve their efficiency, and then raise the sails and it increased the speed of the ship to 16 knots. So they picked up another two or three knots over what the ship would normally do at full cruise power. I think he said they were saving a ton of fuel every hour doing this. I think and our oh, a, a literal, a literal ton of fuel. Oh, a ton, yeah, a ton of fuel. The interesting thing is, if you've ever seen one of these engines in these cargo ships, they're like three, four stories high. They're wow. gigantic diesel engines, each one producing 1,500 horsepower or something like that. And there are six, six of them in every ship. So when he's saving a ton and a half of fuel, that's a lot. In fact, one cargo ship, typical super tanker, for example, on one trip from the Middle East, Persian Gulf to refinery in the Caribbean will emit the same amount of pollution as one million cars. Wow. One million cars. And it is kind of funny because when steamships first came out, they were using sails. So yeah, they, they were, were hybrids. Yeah. They were looking at the steamship to be an addition to the sails. Yeah. And then eventually they just got rid of the sails. And I think a little bit of that had to do, though, with the fact that you had to have crew to manage the sails. And yeah. these are probably something that the captain can just press a button and it goes down if they need to and yeah. they can put it back up. That was the huge expense on the old sailing ships was the, was the crew to have to manually handle those sails. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.